All right, here we go with some turns. This hand is reasonable. It's not uh, insane. It's just a side of hand. We don't have a uh, a howling mine effect quite yet, but it's a reasonable hand. So our opponent's is this lantern. This is probably terrible. <laughs> This has got to be a horrendous matchup for us, but I'm pretty sure Land of Warways and Historians is just Lantern. Um, now I'm confused. Nephalia Academy into their hand with Ancient Historians, even though it revealed this. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. This, uh, if this is Lantern, it's going to be pretty bad for us. I guess we'll take an island. We shall see. We shall see. This is interesting. I mean, I guess this could be in Lantern. All right. So our hand is not doing anything. Uh, I'm actually probably going to upkeep... Giga Drowse him because we're not doing anything. We are unlikely to need two Giga Drowses here. We may as well hack his mana a little bit. I mean, we sort of time walk him with it. Gets gets us another turn in. All right, now we can spreading seize his. Land of War Waste, take him off of colored mana. I mean, he might just ghost quarter it, but... Okay, he did not. So he actually lets us have the draw, which is good. We have another Spreading Seas. Okay, well, theoretically, we're going to get to our Cryptic Command turn here. Yeah, it's almost certainly Lantern. I have not seen this in that deck before. And I have this deck built in paper, so... This could be could be pretty good, I guess. Or it's none of those things we're getting thought not seared. Well, I guess that's pretty good. I don't know what he takes. I guess he takes Cryptic. Wish we'd been on the play. We could have countered this. I assume our Cryptic's gone here, but our hand is, is still sort of reasonable after that, depending on draws. I mean, Thought Nuts here is not the most pressure. I guess if you just need colorless sources, this is, is fine. Like, it's just randomly good against Jund or whatever, if you want it to be. Good against Liliano. All right, Cryptic Command is gone as expected. Go ahead and spreading seize his forest here. Take him off further ancient stirrings. And we'll hit another Cryptic Command. All right, well, we're hanging in there. Got a Plains as well, huh? So, Bant Eldrazi, I suppose. Green blue. We're going to get reality smashed. That's unfortunate. Man, that clock just got a lot shorter. This is almost not even relevant. And since we have Giga Drows, I won't be using it. Um, I'm just going to be crypticing his combat. Just have to tap his team draw card. Oh, God. All right, so this doesn't matter, though. We can let this resolve. There's no reason to counter it, because we're going to tap his team, and we can... Ooh, Gigatrass is so bad against this. Um... Okay. Here's the plan. Well, I guess if that's the plan, it doesn't matter. I'm saying we can... Geeka Drow's the Thought Knots here. Take 10 from the Smashers. Go to 1. Um, have our Cryptic for the next turn. I think that's what we're going to do. It's super mana inefficient, but it gives us an additional draw. Sure. This is, this is weird. It's not the play I would have... Not a play I would have thought I would have been making, but... And we're not in a good position, that's for sure. We're going to have to chain cryptics into some really good stuff here. Um, and then on our next turn, we can actually cryptic... Well, no, okay. So we can bounce the Thought Knot. 
Right. So what if we so what if we let it resolve? We tapped and we bounced the thought knot. Is that better? We tap his team. We bounce the thought knot. We get another card, uh, which is just we get we get three modes out of our cryptic command at that point. Um, then, but the thing is, after that, Giga Drows doesn't save us. Well, it does still because we. Well, he's going to recast the thought knot though, and that sucks. That's the issue with this plan. I think we can put off the decision for a turn by doing this. I've, I've paid one. Oh, it's because I sold it. I want to copy. I want to, okay, it just defaults to one. All right, I want to replicate zero times. There we go. All right, your smasher resolves. Hit me for all the damages. Don't think we'll be getting burned out any anytime soon over there. So, all right. So we will go ahead and play a fountain. Why not? Um, I could try to cycle these. If I were, I'd do it with the walk the eons. Maybe I'll do that. I uh, will cycle it because I we, yeah, and that gives us the ability then. Um, because obviously we're we're gonna have to find a howling miner dictate and cast the time warp, so we have four, five, six, seven. So we actually we need an eighth to do that. So we are we're certainly up against the ropes here. I don't think there's a reason to do this though, because we can if we're gonna do it, we can just do it next turn. Not in a great spot. Maybe we will miracle a temporal mastery. That's what I would like to do. Off of this time, off of this uh, cryptic command draw. Have thought not taking our first cryptic hurt. All right. We would like to tap all creatures our opponent's control and draw a card. He has so many things to blow, like. Not to blow us out here, but well, that's a card. It's actually not a bad one either. Now, what I don't want him to have is a, oh, I'd say, displacer, but he'd have, still have to have a temple. I'll draw you a temple. Okay. That can't be good for us. Are we getting... Thought seized. We're getting mimicked. Okay, that's irrelevant. Sure. All right, well, we drew more land. Um, so I can play the Walk the Eons first, or I can play Spreading Seas into Time Warp. Um, I think we just have to play Walk the Eons, though, because our outs are few, but they mean our outs are cast a Time Warp along with a. Uh, draw effect. Or we can always hit another cryptic and not die, but. Okay, well, a bunch of land. Go ahead and spread and seize this swamp he wanted so badly. Oh, that's so painful. We were one draw away. I mean, so the thing is, now we can we time warp ourselves, but we have to. We're gonna only have one draw at it because we're gonna draw this because we drew the Halley Mine literally one turn late. So if this is an extra turn, we have hope. Or if it's a cryptic, we have hope. Um, but that is the only hope. Here we go. Oh, well, I guess we're not dead. We have another draw at it. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, we were so close to winning this game. Man, that feels bad. Because, see, we, we can play our Howling Mine. Oh, no. All right, we've died. That's, that's so sad. Okay, well then. He didn't even see part of the water veil. I doubt he knows what we're doing. I don't even think we need the lab maniac. 
I honestly feel like we're fairly advantaged against this deck, to be honest. Um, I actually don't know if I want any of this. These these don't really do much because Reality Smash is just so much damage. Um, you know, a Sun Drop a little half the damage from a, a Thought Knot, but... The Whiplash Trap doesn't really do much. The Hibernations don't really do much. None of this does much. Let's roll with our deck. I mean, we were literally one card away there because we would have... Like, if we hit that Howling Mine, we could do a Howling Mine. We would have drawn then that Serum Visions, and we would have uh, plus the Island, I think, and Serum Visions to keep the Miracle on top and probably been able to go off. I mean, it's not a given, but... All right, here we go. This hand looks reasonable. All right, so go ahead and put this on top, then this on top. So we'll actually know here that we don't want to slide of hand because we know what we're going to draw, and we're fine with both of them. Oh, no. Okay, dictate down. I assume he takes the dictate. Surely he'll figure out the point of our deck. He took the temporal trespass. Now that may mean that he has another. I don't know. I mean, we're going to draw cryptic next turn, though. That's not a thought, not yet. Probably a mimic though. Yep. All right, that's fine. There's the mimic. There's our cryptic. So we pass. Hopefully, don't take too much here. Please don't be a thought knot. It is always a thought knot here. Yep, that's fine. We're gonna get our dictate down. Nothing we can do. Cryptic down. It seems sort of like the uh, the dream if you're the Sultai Eldrazi player, or just Green Black Eldrazi player, I guess. The duress into the mimic into the thought knot. All right. Yep. I guess we'll take one of these. All right, we have a path to winning. I guess even if he has a, uh, I guess maybe, uh, I mean, Smasher's actually maybe what we'd prefer him to have. We said we just take 14 and we don't die and we can try to win, but Surian's also seems reasonable. <laughs> he played against another guy playing turns. Okay. Um, what did he get with it? He, re he revealed a thought knot. <laughs> okay. I guess so. That's fair. And balance, as a matter of fact. Well, we have two shots at it. Take eight. Jesus. This is so dumb. Okay, we've died. The actual nuts over there. 